Hi there, welcome to Pulse TV Live. Now it is an episode, it might be the very first episode, of Pulse Real Talk um, Mummy's Mummy's Time. I don't know what to call it right now. But what we're focusing on every Monday from now on is about mothers and how they're raising their children and the different trials and tribulations one goes through as a mother or, you know, what we intend on doing when becoming mothers basically now the one thing that everybody needs to please make a note of is this it takes a village to raise a child so everybody around children are actually helping to raise that child this is why this panel i believe is one of the more important reasons why you should be watching and of course because it's pulse real talk and of course because it's pulse tv live and of course because it's just a bunch of really really fabulous women sitting on the couch so you have all these different reasons why you should be watching but of course let me introduce the panel for today we have okiki marino here who's a fashion designer and then we have shola adegui right everybody smile you all look very <laughs> nervous today <laughs> okay and then oh uh, there's chisara um uh, okay amadujiwu yes and of course as you guys will recognize this is yeti williams from lagosmoms.com our resident yes expert when it comes to children raising them how to how not to what to do and what not to do basically because she's been here for the past what is it now a month two yeah, Two months, I think. I think two months, yes. Every day, every Monday she's been here and she's giving us all different sorts of tips of what to do, what to feed our kids and how to go about raising them and what to do and what not to do and all that good stuff. Now, we have a nice panel whereby everybody can share their experiences and we can talk about what exactly it is that's going on, whether it may be in our society, whether it may be in our homes, you know, just to have it discussed so that everybody can sort of use this as um, a playing field to decide what they're doing and what they're not doing. Okay, so let's start off now. The first thing to actually sort of determine is parenting styles. What kind of parenting styles do we all sort of have, right? Um, there are different categories here, and this was sent to me by Yeti. So it's the sort. Of, let me let me try and break it down. There's the high control, high warmth look. Okay, there are categories: control, wire control can be high or low warmth can be high or low so you're either an authoritative parent an authoritarian parent a permissive parent or an uninvolved parent okay so authoritative ooh, authoritative parent is a nurturing affectionate sets boundaries disciplines through guidance and is open to communication a permissive parent is nurturing affectionate few or inconsistent boundaries takes the role of friend rather than parent Authoritarian parent is strict, inflexible, high expectations, punishes rather than disciplines, and is what is considered a tiger mom. An uninvolved parent is emotionally detached, self-absorbed, inconsistent, or no boundaries with little interaction. So let's just go down the panel to say what kind of parent you are or what kind of parent you will be with regards to this sort of um, breakdown here. Uh, Yeti, mm. what kind of parent are you? I'm um, uh, um, first quite authoritative, authoritative parent. Yes. You're nurturing, you're affectionate, you set boundaries, you discipline through guidance, and you're open to communication. But I will say, uh -huh. I have elements of, <laughs> of um, the tiger authoritarian. Mom. <laughs> yes. So, I which is which is strict, inflexible, very, high expectations, punishes yeah. rather than disciplines. Let me ask you a question. What's the difference between punishing and disciplining? So, punishing is just time out, I smack you, uh -huh. get away, I, without explaining okay. why I'm doing that yeah. to you, why I'm, why I'm punishing you is mm -hmm. because of this. And you know, discipline is not only spanking, we talked about that. Mm -hmm. There are many ways to discipline, it's not only, you mm -hmm. know, the king. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, Chisara, what about you? Well, I think I'll go the permissive parents way. You're nurturing and affectionate, yeah. few or inconsistent <laughs> boundaries, <laughs> takes the role of friend rather than parents. Yeah, I think okay. I'll go that way, because generally, I, I believe that, um, well, it's fine if you want to be authoritative and all that, but I think the best way to get to gain the confidence of your child is mm -hmm. by being a friend. Okay. That way, the, the, the child learns to, you know, depend on you mm -hmm. rather than seeing you as that, you know, mm -hmm. how do I put it, that scary, you know, scary figure. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think I want to develop that kind of relationship with my child mm -hmm. so that in future, he or she will be able to confide in me mm -hmm. and then 
that relationship will be maintained all the time. So oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to go back me. and ask you a question about that. Because, okay. All right, Chola, what about you? Yeah, I'm more authoritative and I have a lot of authority. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which, which uh, part? Which part? Because there's strict yeah, and strict, flexible, high yeah, expectations. Exactly. Strict. Do you punish rather than discipline? Well, I think I do more punish. But it's, in a way, it's a mix for me because I like, have a toddler. So uh -huh. I tell him. I'm spanking you because you did this. Okay. Don't do that. that so yes, yeah, or if I so it's a mix of both mm. for me. Okay. And then yeah, I might be tiger mom sometimes. <laughs> I give him the look like try. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, but it would be nice to. I'm trying to groom the permissive part because it's always good to strike a balance. You okay. know, you don't want to be all tough and they find difficult to talk to you. Uh -huh. You know. So yeah. So back to what Chisara said. Yeah. It's nice to be friends. But sometimes you need to draw the line as well, you know. Yeah. Because children are smart, they they work <laughs> on your emotions. Exactly. Around, so. That's very true. And Okiki, what type of parent would you be? Oh, I, mm, I think I'll be authoritative. Okay. But then again, I might be, be truthful. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> be to be real with yourself. Uh huh. Okay, I think I'll be more permissive right like, like yeah i think what she was in the whole friendly yeah i'm not sure i'll be the, the strict one yeah. yeah funny enough i have the you know my husky uh -huh, on the uh -huh. top so naturally people will expect me to be very mm -hmm. but i'm not like uh, my husband says i just bark but there's no, there's no, there's no <laughs> <laughs> so i feel once they deduce that they'll be like just like, walking yeah, okay away, you know, all right but, okay now, what I wanted to ask you is when you said, okay, it's better to be friends with them and it's better yeah. for them to come and confide in you, yeah. right? Um, what's your limitation? Let's say, I'm, I'm talking, you have a boy or a girl? Yeah, you I'm have a boy. boy. Now, let's say, hmm, I'm trying to think about something really juicy here. This, he comes up to you and he's all about 13, 14, 15, 16 the hormones are in fact you know the hormones start raging a lot earlier these days <laughs> At, he's 12 in fact yeah. yeah hormones are raging he's woken up there's something going on in the bed he doesn't understand what it is right that one he's come to you yeah. you've sent him come to your father your father was explaining <laughs> that to you and then later on okay because he's really close with you right yeah. mommy's yeah. boy type thing yeah really close with you mm -hmm. now he's thinking about girls mm. and he wants to you know Mm -hmm. Have sex. Look at me. I'm even nervous. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how how are you? How comfortable would you be with that? I would be absolutely comfortable. Yeah. You know why? Because uh, there's no there's no point running away from the truth. That's it's it's obvious and evident that uh -huh. that time will be uh -huh. So you prepare yourself for it. Definitely, I'm sure they must have been taught some things in school concerning that. And you so you're not going to have a talk people. with him. I will. I okay. will have a background talk with him, uh -huh. but. Um, I'm not going to make it sound as if it's something, you know, out of this world. Mm. I'll sit him down, let him know the nitty gritty about the whole is issue. Mm -hmm. Um, not make it sound. I won't even send him to his dad and say, "Let your dad talk to you." Mm -hmm. I'm his mom, for Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. So, there's nothing he will hear from me that um, will be different from. Well, even though the father might talk to him from a man's perspective, uh -huh. but I will also let him know that you know. These are the dangers, and mm. this, this are, of course, they are. You can't make it sound as though it's all negatives. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Make them know so, that yeah, it's a good thing, but you you need to wait uh -huh. till the right time uh -huh. before you indulge in all that. These are the disadvantages. These are the things that come out of yeah. it when you you know get all excited and go into it. You know, so if you talk to him reasonably, it will be fine. And I don't think if I develop a good relationship with my son. He'll be free to talk to me about anything, mm -hmm. and I won't make anything sound like an abomination. Oh, oh what's that? Oh, mm -hmm. no. I, mm -hmm. I think we'll have a reasonably consistent relationship when it comes to that. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay, j this is just a, like sort of like the panel now. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that's ever sort of like off limit? Because I believe with what everybody said, everybody wants that sort of relationship mm -hmm. with their child. Mm -hmm. So it's the sort of thing whereby it, would there be anything that's totally I don't want to hear this from my child. 
No, I think if they're open, you know, um, I think it's important they should be able to discuss anything. Mm -hmm. So I tell my kids, I said, there's no secrets. Mm -hmm. So even they say, oh, mom, if I tell you this, I don't want to tell you because I know you'll be, you'll be annoyed. I'm yeah. like, really? <laughs> now, why don't you give me a chance to uh -huh. actually, so actually, yeah, you know, pull them out. <laughs> yeah. So I'm able to come down from the very end to say, oh, tell me, there's no secrets. Uh -huh. And they tell me, I'll be like, is that it? Uh -huh. So I always do that. <laughs> Anytime they say that, oh, I'm worried you freak out. Yeah. I always dampen it by down, saying, yeah. is that it? Okay. That's nothing. Sit down. Okay. Then we discuss it. Okay. You know, okay. so. Yeah. Even if it sounds to you like, if, it, even if you say, oh my God, I can't yeah. believe yeah. that. I wouldn't yeah. share that. Yeah. Like in your mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're grabbing your ass away. We're like, I might, oh, I might drink a cup of water just to calm <laughs> what I will do <laughs> and then deal with it, you know. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Um, now, there are apparently now different parenting styles. There's the jellyfish. There's the dolphin and there's the tiger. This is from Lagos Post. It's very, it's very actually, it's very informative, right? Um, because then there's th those are the headings, and then there are different categories where it says driving childhood autonomy, role modeling, instruction, mm -hmm. discipline, goals, expectations, driving adulthood. Before we actually address this, how um, important do you guys think, and how early do you believe that it is that you start instilling? You know, for example, in your child, what do you want to do with your life? What do you want to do with your future? How do you want to grow up? And, you know, that sort of thing, for yeah. example. I How early? I think as early as possible. Yeah, as, as, talk. Talk. as soon as you, <laughs> you know, yeah, hear what you're saying and you guys want to communicate. Uh -huh. As early as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three, four. As yeah. early as that. You get to communicate with your child. Let him, of course, he, he or she will have aspirations, what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. you, tr you encourage the child in any way you can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you book wise and all in other material forms, and then try to encourage him to know that there's nothing he cannot achieve. It's just by working hard and everything will work out fine. So yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Do most do 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 like most most let's say most parents basically? Do you all believe that you have a life plan for your child? Because here's my thing. I've already planned my life, my son's life, from the minute he starts school till he's done with university. In terms of what you say, plan. Exactly. What schools he's what going schools to, oh, what okay, kind yeah, of yeah. extracurricular yeah. activities he's going oh, yeah, to do, you can do that. that sort of thing. Well, one thing about extracurricular activities uh -huh. is this. You might want your child to do music, like play but he's instruments. Not yeah. And he, he's doing it because mommy wants me to do it. I'm going, you know, and not because the child really enjoys it. He might mm -hmm. be that he wants to go swimming. Mm -hmm. It might be that he wants to take a dance class, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. she gets, so I think at a particular age, I think from like four or five, mm -hmm. it's better to really see what that child is interested in. Mm -hmm. Fine, mm -hmm. you might have ideas, like this is what I want my child to do, but mm -hmm. you also need to know what that child has interest in. If the child is not interested in what you want to do, mm -hmm. or what you want them to do, I mean, eventually it's going to have, it's going to backfire. But it's you funny, find I find out that the child keeps yeah. doing it and mm. keeps doing it and doesn't really fall in love with it. You, there's a difference between you doing something you're passionate about mm -hmm. and doing something because you have to do it. Yes. I mean, a lot of people study courses that, oh, they just want to go to university. But some people study courses that they're actually passionate about. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. When you do something with passion, there's a different, you, there's a way you do it, you do it differently. Yeah. You know, so I believe in, yeah, I have a plan for my son, but at the same time, I would also want to know what his interests are, mm -hmm. like what does he really want to do. Okay. But you I know? feel like that's two ways, right? Like you said, because, but at four or five, they don't really know, I feel, that they don't really know what they need to do. So that's why I, I feel like we should almost expose them to everything yeah. and then listen. Yeah. But you're yeah, totally right, because I think it was... I, w I wasn't a very active child at all. So I said, my children will swim, they will play tennis, they will do everything. And after one term of doing tennis, my kids hated it. Oh, so I didn't force them. So when it came to, and I said, I said, it's fine, you don't like it, no problem, but I've paid for this term, so we have to finish this term. Yes. Next term, well, yeah, let's look at this. What do you want to do? So, we'll, so to your point, you have to be flexible. They didn't like tennis, we picked chess. The one that wanted Lego robotics, we picked Lego. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. Mm. Very good. Okay, so everybody's all about let's just let, let, let them try to see what they want to do. Things, basically, yeah. Yeah. right. Okay, but I don't. You feel I. I think it's very very important to sort of have guidance. Obviously, there'll be guidance, yeah. right? And like, okay, there the different activities. For example, if they start swimming, if they start playing tennis. I mean, one could become a tennis pro. One could be a swimming pro. One could be different things. But it's very, very important for that parent to sort of mold, mm -hmm. yeah. basically, right? The reason why I'm saying this is because 
the way I grew up, it was the sort of thing, my father worked all the time, right? Mm -hmm. And I grew up with my stepmother. We didn't have a relationship. So it was like I was raising myself. And because there was no parent figure that was constantly like, okay, let's pick your activities for you. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you want to do. Let's see what you want to do. There's so many things that I know that I tried and I loved, Mm -hmm. but there was no encouragement. So I didn't follow it up. So it took me a very long time, Mm -hmm. even into university, Mm -hmm. basically, to even figure out what I wanted to do with my life. Mm -hmm. Even finish university, that sort of thing. And it wasn't until way afterwards. So I think, Mm -hmm. I just think it's very, very important to have that, you know, constant guidance. But I totally understand what you're saying with regards to, and the way Mm -hmm. you had, you know, your children try out different activities and then some worked, some didn't work, Mm -hmm. that sort of thing, just to carry it on like that. Okay, well, so that, I mean, that that's a good thing. So now let's try and figure out what kind of parents, what kind of parenting styles everybody has let me just go through it very quickly jellyfish is the drive in childhood the drive dominated by the child's demand too much autonomy too early autonomy meaning like the child gets to make all the decisions basically right role modeling is non-purposeful instruction not enough or absent discipline avoidance of confrontation and few rules and consequences goals are not clear expectations are not clear driving adulthood not clear or random dolphin which is authoritative parenting is parent guided drive of nurturing the child's nature gradual increasing of autonomy with age purposeful use of role modeling for collaboration balanced lifestyle and core character values instructions when needed but focus is guidance including learning from trial and error collaborative discussion of rules and consequences parents maintain authority long-term 21st century skills equals creativity collaboration critical thinking and communication uh expectations living a life of health balance meaning and purpose and driving adulthood healthy internal drive that is sustainable now the tiger who's authority an authoritarian parent is parent driven pushing and or hovering wow expectation of autonomy but is unintentionally impeded by pushing and hovering non-purposeful or dominated by a narrow definition of success which is financial or status orientated too much adult instruction leading to lack of opportunity for independent problem solving parents determined rules and consequences short-term performance or achievement early performance and achievement with assumption this will lead to wealth status and thus happiness later in life diminished and or dependent on external reward or pressure there you go so ladies which ones are you or which ones do you think you're going to be dolphin type mm. okay yeah. and you sure. same, same. Everybody's <laughs> yeah. okay because i've seen to be honest with you i've seen people who've been brought up with the tiger type thing and they're pretty much useless Mm-hmm. pretty useless because married whatever it's they're still going to their mothers right. to be like yeah okay so what should I do yeah. that sort of thing mm-hmm. basically and it's like I, I've here's, here's the thing I can't mention names but the thing is it's been so bad that I've heard people actually saying ah his parents have used him mm-hmm. you know because yeah. he, he this person mm-hmm. couldn't literally couldn't function yeah. without yeah. You know, and, and that's why we go to the um, what is mm, the yeah, music exactly. You know? <laughs> you know that sort of thing yeah. because literally this is actually because as I was reading this, I was like, oh wow, okay. Which I mean, it makes a lot of sense mm. basically, and it's obviously very very important to balance things out. How does one balance things out? That's the question. Mm. How do you know when to pull back? How do you know when to push a little bit more? How do you mm. give that child that independence? Mm. That sort of thing. That's mm. that's that's the question. What do you do? Anybody? Anybody? Well, for me, I think the key is you um, having at the back of your mind that you you want to be a good parent. Mm-hmm. At the same time, you don't want to be a parent that doesn't know how to be a good parent basically now what i mean is you've been able to scold your child when child needs to be scolded but you know there's some children that like i'm a fan of disciplined children Mm -hmm. like i go out and i see well-behaved children there's some children at five Mm -hmm. even at four Mm -hmm. i mean you should be able to tell your child sit down and the child sit 
some parents find it hard to tell their children that and i'm not a fan of that mm -hmm. because i believe at four years old i mean they are not toddlers anymore mm -hmm. you can discipline yourself but then this all goes back to the background the upbringing you know this parent has never been firm at any mm -hmm. point so when you go outside your children will disgrace you mm -hmm. this is the rule of the game mm -hmm. you know so that's where the so it, it, it depends on the parent you decide that I want to be a good parent, but at the same time, I want to teach my children the right values, mm -hmm. and I want them to be disciplined. You know, I don't want them to go out there and disgrace me. I want them to go out there and be role models. Let people see my children and say, "Oh, I want my child to be like this boy, mm -hmm. or I want my child to be like this girl." Mm -hmm. So it all comes to yeah, like my son. I mean, he's just two, but I found out that these children are a lot smarter than we give them credit for. Mm -hmm. Like there are a lot of things that he can get away with. I allow him to get away with some things, not because I want to be, but I don't want to be all the, the like he has this picture of my mom is just a tiger. You know, any small thing, she's beating me or she's spanking me. So sometimes I let him get away with something and just use words, mm -hmm. saying, tell me don't do this, tell me don't do that. Sometimes he needs to be spanked mm -hmm. and I do it. You know, but I try to draw a line mm -hmm. so that he doesn't, you know, I don't push him away so much and at the same time still be firm okay you know so okay. when he knows oh she's serious mm -hmm. you know so yes. it's just about you knowing what you want for your child or you Inflexible. knowing what you want to see in your yeah. child mm -hmm. and then you find out you find the right balance okay okay, okay. Yeah. okay. well that's fair enough that sounds good okay so that's you all you're all in agreement yeah, with that so i think there's something she said about you know wanting to be a good parent you said what does it mean to be a good parent many times it, it's kind of it's kind of different per family, right? Yeah. But overall, I think being a good parent means you're yeah, raising an adult. I keep saying, let's not look at the children uh -huh. we're raising today. Look at the adults we need mm -hmm. them to become. Mm -hmm. And part of that is what will, what will um, help us when we're making decisions. Like when I'm being really tough, am I being tough on something that if he picks up that particular wrong characteristic, I'm setting him up for a future of drama? Uh -huh. Or am I being lenient on something that oh, he doesn't really like carrot versus broccoli. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say by force because you must do five different <laughs> vegetables today. You are going to, you know, there's some things you leave them on. Yeah. But something like cat, like you said, not greeting. I say sit down, you can't sit. I say greet auntie, you don't greet. Ah, yeah. that's yeah. an issue. Yeah. That one, you yeah. know that yeah. you yeah. must yeah. do it. Like yeah. So, um, you know, okay. balance.